Hey, what's up guys and girls? JRSPC here with another video, and today I'm just showcasing my beard. There's a lot of gray in it, and I don't love it, but what are you gonna do? So, anyways, uh, just kidding. Um, just moved into a new house, and uh, everything's kind of scattered abroad, and I've got some stuff left over. Uh, not left over, but that I put aside to do some videos for you guys. And uh, I thought I'd start with this right here. So, hold on a second. Okay, so I was just recently at a local card shop. And this guy had a whole bunch of sets, uh, complete sets, and they were all junk era sets, but they were mostly, uh, uh, basically, basically all like late 80s, early 90s. And, uh, and he also had all these boxes here that had, for example, B for baseball, and he had one for F for football, and then BK for basketball. Uh, these boxes he was charging $10 a piece for, I believe. And I grabbed this one, and I opened it. And I just kind of looked in there, and there's a lot of, looks like, chromey, newer, decent stuff. So I grabbed that. I said, well, you know what? We'll give this box a shot. And for the $10 or $15 I paid, I think it was $15. Might have been $10. I don't know. It was $10 or $15. I know they used to be $10, but I think he raised them to $15. Anyways, he had a bunch of them, and I said, well, how much for these? I, you know, I asked him, I said, hey, if I buy a bunch of these, can you give me a better deal? Because so I'm pretty sure it was just mostly commons, but I, I know other guys who had pulled really decent stuff out of there. Uh, like they bought some basketball ones, pulled out a bunch of Kawhi Leonard and Anthony Davis rookies. So I said, I'll take a shot on one of them. Anyways, long story short, he said, if you want cheaper stuff, I'll give you these sets here for cheap. Uh, he had a, a stack uh, probably, uh, I'd say three and a half feet tall. And I believe they're about six sets wide. So a lot of sets. And he says, you can have any of these ones that you want for only $3 a piece. <laughs> so I said, are they all complete? He says, yeah. I said, I said, come on, Rich. I said, are you sure? You promise they're complete? Yeah, they're complete. So I looked in a couple, and I made sure that the Griffies were in there and stuff. And uh, I said, I'm going to bring them back if they're not complete. He's like, I swear to you, they are all 100% complete. So as I'm going through some of them, I realized that they looked like they were, um, um, I mean, pack fresh. I mean, super fresh. So I was like, okay, I'll take a, ch I'll take a chance on them. And I uh, went through, and they are all complete. But look what I pulled. I pulled. I grabbed most of, mostly all the 89s, and I got 89 Flair, 89 Flair. I grabbed that 90 Upper Deck, um, just because I wanted to pull the Griffey uh, and get it graded. And then another 89 Flair, 89 Flair, 89 Flair, 89 Flair, 89 Flair. Another 90 Upper Deck, another 90 Upper Deck, uh, another 89 Flair, and then 89 Flair. I got 91 Bowman because there's a lot of good rookies in there, including Chipper and Tomei. 91 score for the Chipper uh, and the Messina, basically. And then a 91 score for the same. So these were awesome. $3 a piece I paid for all these. I bought, how many did I buy? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 of them for $3 a piece. So that cost me uh, 45 Yeah, so this was 10 because I spent $55 on everything. So $10. So now we're going to go and open this box. What do we get here, guys? Okay, so like I said, this box was ten dollars. And starting off, and like I said, it's, I saw a lot of nice newer stuff, so I thought I'd just give it a shot. A couple Scherzers there. Hey, old Carl Crawford, Juan Gonzalez. Hey, there's a Sepia Refractor, another Juan gone. You Darvish rookie, that was a good one back in the day. First year Prism too, 2012. So you never know what you're gonna find. This guy doesn't go through his stuff. He just sells it he just buys collections and just packages it up and that's why you gotta you gotta try it for 10 bucks you never know what you're gonna find so like i said another another buddy of mine he's a collector uh he's got a pretty good following on tiktok but uh he's not like super knowledgeable on cards uh but he was knowledgeable enough to go buy some basketball and pulled a bunch of Kawhi leonard rookies and anthony davis and they were uh the spl phoenix uh the the draft, uh, where he's in his college uniform. Anyways, but look at these. These are fun. I'm already pretty excited. You know, I got something on that, Stephen Piscotti, but not bad. For 10 bucks, this is this is worth buying for I mean, I just got the box. I'm just going through it now. This is literally the first time I've looked at it. I didn't even open, I didn't even go through the cards when I was there. I just saw a lot of new stuff. Tyler Glass now, that's a nice one. Uh, and there's a black. Um... But, gosh, I, I think it's going to be pretty good if it's all like this. Sorry I was away for a little while, guys. Like I said, I wasn't really away. I was working a ton after Christmas, and uh, 
Rafael Batista, Blue Wave Refractor, first Bowman. I don't even know who that is, but Jason Barlett, who's a good prospect coming up. Anyways, um, I was very busy working. I was kind of too tired to get into a, a, a video when I'd come home. Uh, so, but I was buying stuff and putting it aside, waiting for a moment to be able to just sit down and do a bunch of videos. And today I had the day off. I just got done working 12 days in a row. And, uh had my kids this weekend so we did a bunch of fun stuff now they're on their uh there's Kyle Drabeck that's uh Doug Drabeck's son now they're on their phones playing uh games and stuff like that there's a golden uh you know a golden uh anniversary type no I can't remember what that one is but there's that goal I forget what they call that anyways the kids are occupied so I was like I'm gonna go do a quick video <laughs> um and actually I'm gonna do several right now while I have a minute another James Tyon Bowman Platinum so that's a good one too that one's a 2012. Wow, he's been around a while. I didn't even realize how long he's been around. But anyway, stay tuned. I got a bunch more videos. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this one, you can you can look on there right now, and you'll probably find a bunch more videos uh, that I just put up. Omar Beltre. Huh. I don't know if he's related to Adrian. Doesn't say it in the up close there. Almost resembles Adrian right off the bat, though. Maybe it could be the uh, Texas uniform that makes me look think about him. Okay, so you guys let me know down in the comments if you think this is worth 50 bucks. A lot of numbered cards are not 50 bucks, 10 bucks. Hey, nice old Zach Wheeler. Too bad he's not a Met anymore. Some surface scratches and stuff, but that's one of the problems here. And I'm seeing is some scratching on the uh, chrome card, so they probably weren't handled very well. Like when I get anything nice colored chrome, I pull it, I always take it and stick it right in a sleeve. Hopefully, this is showing up okay on the on the video for you guys a lot of glare sorry about that there's some 11 stuff no it's 12 I'm sorry I should have known better but this is all uh parallels and stuff good cards to send to a uh, com -C. I, I love com -C, but I just have a hard time sending them all that money up front before they even get the stuff on and that's just me being completely cheap so a lot of color, man. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of color. A lot of parallels. This was a pretty good box. I mean, just even like cheap common ones, like for, for player collectors or for people trying to build sets. Like these are good cards to throw online. Get a buck or buck, two bucks for them. Daniel Norris, Chris Sale, nice Nate Freeman uh, or Freeman. I'm not sure. F R E I. All right, we're gonna do some uh, pack breaks here soon too. Today I'm going to do them, and, and hopefully you guys will see the videos. Coco Crisp Gold, some other old golds. Chad Billingsley, he was a good prospect. Um, Eric Young Jr. Rookie, a lot of decent older stuff here. I'm I'm actually pretty surprised at the uh, a lot of decent older stuff. Hoping to find something good. Like maybe these have been there for a while, and maybe there's been someone who's broke out pretty well. Nick Castellanos, that's a good one. Berkman and a Berkman. That's a thick one, a gold one. That's what I'm looking for is a breakout star that went in here before he was a breakout star, didn't get looked at, and then now we might be lucky and have us a have us a, a decent card, kind of like those Kawhis and uh, Anthony Davis. Even though they were good stars, but their rookies really took off here recently. Rich Becker, Larry Larkin. Oh, that's a cool old card. I remember that. Dwight Gooden wearing the dot, uh, Malcolm X. Um, that's, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Sheffield is his nephew. And I definitely think he should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care about the steroid thing. I know people think it's cheating. And, you know, in a lot of ways it is. But, like I said, that guy could just hit a ball so well. I'm not even talking about the home runs. Like, he was a great baseball player. Carlos Gonzalez, he was so good for a little while there, and then I don't know what happened. Evan Longoria, Sepia. Yeah, this was a good box, guys. A lot. There's a diamond anniversary. A lot of, uh, that's a 2011 diamond anniversary. A Shin Su Chu, he was a good ball player. Um, a lot of numbered parallels and, you know, random old Hall of Famers thrown in here. Jacoby Jones, he was a good prospect. Still playing. There's a DJ LeMahieu uh, metallic uh, snowflake. Josh Hamilton. I hated this set. Gosh, they made so many different variations of this card and so many different uh, numbering. Uh, it was just an impossible master set to ever, ever, ever do. 
And if you ever wanted to do one, that's a weird speckly refractor. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that type of refractor. 2018. I have no idea. D. Gordon. Anyways, uh, you couldn't. It was like basically impossible to do a, a, a even one player's um, master collection of that, that mile um, moments and milestones. There's a nice Seth Lugo Sepia refractor rookie. I saw Zuna. I'm liking all these diamond anniversaries and uh, older parallels there from the early uh, 2010s. Chris Sabo, look up the video where he hit a home run with his fly down. And <laughs> the camera got a video of him talking about his zipper being down. And then all of a sudden he smashes a home run. Salvador Perez. Okay. I tell you what. I think that the breakup value on these, um, all these parallels and stuff is, is pretty good. I think that there's a lot of value here. A lot of breakup value. SK Matsuzaka. Remember when he came over and he was the big thing. Kevin Newman. Jose Valdez. I'm trying to, I want to find like a good player like this. Like a, a color uh, chrome first. Another one, you know, this card might be a common, but that's probably a good one for someone who's trying to build that set. And Miggy. Eric Thames. I got to do these videos at nighttime. It's daytime right now. I got cameras, in, or not cameras, um, these big windows in my office and uh it's hard to see anything a hey, nice michael conforto rookie i love it go on my mets pc along with that noah Syndergaard, another guy that doesn't get enough consideration for the hall he was just a great all-around player high average and a lot of home runs i mean a fair amount of home runs you know but he's just a good ball player all-around ball player might not have had the individual numbers for like one stat but uh, he sure was a great baseball player all around. Like, I mean, he was like a great all around player. Jung Ho Kong. Oh, that another diamond anniversary. I gotta pull all those out for sure. Brendan McKay, rookie. Uh, prospect, actually. Come on, give us something big. Another glass now. That's a good one. Alex Colome. Alamante. Never heard of that guy. Derek Dietrich. Joey Votto, what a great ball player. Not a nice Zach Wheeler. That one's less scratched up. And I wish he was still a Met. Gosh, David Wright. That's my favorite Met from the last 20 years, basically. Well, be about 15, 16 years, I guess now. Still love David Wright. Still collect him. Nice Swarby rookie. Got a nice little PC of David Wright, but it's nothing compared to my PC of Derek Jeter, who I started collecting. A very very long time ago and one of these days when I get into my storage unit which I'm actually working on getting to the one where those are I'll show it to you guys because now that we're in this house we're gonna go get some of the stuff that we had stored for the last several several years they're not a nice David Wright but that one in the PC Adam Lind but the Jeter cards those are uh, like I've said before guys lots of stuff that is just ridiculous like mirror golds and just super tough inserts that have just gone through the roof that I was able to buy for reasonable prices back then 10 20 30 dollars and that back then was good money and now they're selling for just ridiculous money especially in high grade and I don't know what grades they'll be I mean I know that they're going to be half a lot of them will be halfway decent because I would a lot of times I would uh I would take one out and and uh, upgrade it and just try to have the best collection of uh the most high end kind of like my 86 87 flare basketball sets which is probably a good time to pull those out and sell them. I don't have any more Jordan rookies though. I sadly sold them all. I missed the window of when they were selling for stupid money. And so, but I've got, um, I've actually got five almost completely complete sets. And when I dig those out, they are also with the Jeters. Uh, when I dig those out, I'll show those to you guys too. I got them all numbered to set number one, two, three, and four are in one binder and they're organized by condition like number one is going to be the best condition and the most complete and then they go down from there but i'll show you guys that here someday jose reyes loved him as a met sad when he left happy he came back and finished off with the mets tim lincecum the freak two nice x fractors there travis wood jared hughes not related to phil i don't think no just kidding he's not just seen where he's born no he's from connecticut Hugh Darvish, second years. 
still playing, still pitching well too. I'll pull those things out for sure. Okay, hey, no, nice David right there. That'll go to PC. Another some more 2012 uh, prisms. I think these are 12s, right? No, these are 13s. I'm sorry, Matt Weeders. Got a bunch of autographed bats from him back in the day when he was in the minor leagues. I uh, should have sold those a long time ago because they are not really worth a ton anymore like they like they were at the time. And at one point I could have probably gotten 100, 125 bucks a bat. I don't know what I can get now. Roy Holiday, rest in peace. Chase Utley, the Met Killer. Uke. Uke Liss. Over there when he was with the Yankees. Paco. Evan Longoria. These are nice. The old Bowman Heritage. It's got the first year on there too. I think these are from... Uh, I don't remember. 2005. I was going to say 2007. I was wrong. Matt Cain, he had a great uh, few years. Jonathan Pettibone. I thought that was Papelbon. <laughs> Paco again. Never heard of Paco Rodriguez, but I like his name. That's a pretty cool name. All right, guys. Last grouping of these few. And then I'm going to turn this off and do another video. What do we got here? Alex Wood, Refractor Rookie, Nick Franklin. Addison Russell, a couple of those, 87 style, Luke Weaver, come on, give us something good here, Jake Arrieta, Masahiro Tanaka, a couple of those, still doing well, David Dahl, rookie, he's a good one, Hudson, Nelson Cruz, some more X-Fractors, I mean, just tons of awesome parallels in here, Bunning, he just passed away not too long ago, Billy Herman got a bunch of his uh, autographs, Dickie Joe Thon, gotta be related to Dickie Thon, right? The son of 15-year vet, Dickie. Yep, okay, good. Golly. Boog Powell. There is another Boog Powell in the league, too. Uh, but it's no relation to Boog Powell. They just nicknamed him Boog because they love Boog. And he's going by it. An old Carlos Delgado. That's the uh, score collection or dugout collection. There you go. Back in 96. They always change the names of these. This is going to be another one. That one's called Gold Rush. They had different names for them, different years. Alex Gonzalez. That's a uh, museum collection. Yeah, museum collection. Sick parallels back in the day. Jeff Conine, great baseball player for a lot of years. Justin Upton. Jed Yorko. Tony Delmonico. Hey, right, nice Alex Verdugo. Rated rookie. That's pretty cool. I just sold his Topps Chrome PSA 10 online. Severino. Oh, now that's a good one. Jan Mancata Chrome Sepia Refractor Rookie. There's the best one, I think, guys, so far. And it came in the last pile. Look at all these refractors, though. Michael Waka, still playing, playing on the Mets now. Tim Lincecum, Julio Moncada, he was a Met for a minute, way back in the day. Paul Canerico, Exponential. Uh, what do you got there? Will Myers, Robin Yell. Oh, got a Jeter. Put that in the Jeter PC for sure, too. Clint Barnes, he was a decent prospect. Michael Lieberthal, Tim Salmon had a good career. Canerico, pah. I, I still think he could possibly be a Hall of Famer someday. Torrey Hunter, another guy, one of those borderline Hall of Famers. He had a great long career, very uh, respectable career, very um, consistent too. And just a fun guy to watch play, listen to interview, uh, good teammate too. So, All right, guys, I think this is going to have to be the best card uh, in the whole box. What do you think? And it's actually not scratched up. It's surprisingly in fantastic condition. I mean, considering how scratched everything else was, uh, what's your favorite card in this box? Let me know down below, and maybe I'll send it to you. Uh, if I do send it to you, I'll have to have you email me your mailing address, okay? All right, you guys have a great rest of the day, and check out the rest of my videos. Later.